because this is going to be up on my YouTube channel once I'm done here. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and for tuning in after I filmed this. So today I am working on finishing up my newest oil series. I'm actually filming a YouTube video for it as we speak. Unfortunately, the sun went down, so I lost some light, but I'm still going to finish up these pieces. And um, I will film the outro for it later. Also, I was going to put on some music, but last time I attempted to do this live and save it, it got removed because I was playing music in the background. So I don't want that to happen again. So this is going to be silent. Um, yeah. Maybe I can crack the window a bit so you get a little bit of ambiance sound, maybe. It's been pretty windy outside, but let's see. I was live earlier today and everyone was like, oh, it sounds so pretty outside. There's all these birds. There's like dogs barking and wind blowing and it sounded really pretty. So maybe since I can't play music, you can enjoy the, uh, the other sounds in the background. So um, I was working on these ones earlier. I really butchered this one. Like you might like it. It's okay. I can show you up close a little bit. It's still wet. But uh, if you watched my oil paint with me video that I released like last week sometime, that was these paintings. And well, I don't know why the color looks so crazy on the phone. Um, but yeah, if you watched that video, then you may have saw me create this one and another one. And this one was actually perfect. I loved it, but for some reason, uh, there was a lot of white happening in the center that I didn't like. So I decided that I would go over it with some colors and it muted it so bad that I decided to just like go at it with more white and I kind of don't like it anymore. I feel like it's a little off, the symmetry is a little off. But other people that were seeing me paint it were like, no, it looks great. But, you know, people will always say it looks great, you know, and then it probably doesn't. <sighs> yeah, it bums me out that I messed with it. Because um, something I've been doing recently is when I find myself getting frustrated with a painting. And I mean, this happens all the time. Is when I'm getting frustrated and it's not turning out how I want or it's just, I don't know, I just don't feel like the creativity is really flowing through me the way it should be. I normally just step away from it and I let it dry and I come back. And that has been a lifesaver for my paintings. And I'm just shocked that I liked it and then I messed it up. So um, I started painting it. I stepped away for a few hours and um, I came back. So it's been sitting like this for the last two hours. And I figured if I stepped away, I'd come back and see it with new eyes and I might look at it differently. So, um, in hopes to not mess it up even further. Also, while I was painting this, I noticed a lot of dust. And I think it's because I had my windows open. It was definitely because I had my windows open. And it was so windy today, like all the doors were slamming. My neighbors probably thought I was like mad slamming the doors. But um, there's a lot of stuff that has to be picked out of this now. <sighs> Sucks. But I think because this is still wet, I will add some stars to it and just call it a day. And then if I want to come back to it later, I always can. But that's kind of the nice part with oils. It is forcing me to be patient. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I know, Dusty. I was like, I need to go live on YouTube and save it because last time it got deleted. Thank you, Valerie. That's really nice of you. There was another comment, but for some reason it's not letting me. Oh, there it is. There it is. You're your worst critic. Yeah, we definitely are. Dusty, this is, I ended up going live on TikTok after Insta and I messed it up even more. So now it looks like this. 
And I don't know why the color is really off in the camera. Like iPhone cameras bring out the highlights. It does not look like this. There's green in this. It's like turquoise. It looks very blue like my LED back there. It's not this blue. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some stars. Cause that's really important. Oh, what just happened to the live chat? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Jeffrey. If you guys have any questions about my painting process, if there's any artists in here, feel free to ask. And yeah. I'm bummed I can't play music. I'm sorry. I feel like it's boring with no music. Um, <laughs> I just don't want the video to get flagged again, so. I guess I could play, um, mm, I could probably play music that is for YouTubers, the like free music. I didn't even think about that. That's actually a really good idea. If you guys want me to play music, let me know. I can put that on. I don't want to be too boring here with it being completely silent and you hearing the ASMR of my paintbrushes. <laughs> I'm also filming a YouTube video for the rest of this painting, so I have to film me doing the stars. This is real behind the scenes. Right here, this is how it happens. The lighting changed, so this is going to look weird, I'm sure, but, oh, actually, it looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, it looks really good. I think it's this light. Oh, this looks beautiful in the camera. I take it. I take back what I said. This looks really pretty in the camera. Whoa, dude, oils are so vibrant. I swear, like, oils just cannot compare to acrylics. They really can't. There's nothing like the the vibrancy. Is that a word? Vibrancy <laughs> of oils. There's nothing like it. Sorry, I missed a comment. You're always safe with lo-fi. No, I got removed by playing lo-fi last time because it's not a free, I can't play it on YouTube on like a video. Those paintings are amazing. You're so talented. You're so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate you for saying that. I'm trying. I'm glad that you like them. I was really bummed earlier when I went too far in this painting. So yeah. It's like I, I shouldn't be bummed because there's no expectation. It's completely abstract. But for some reason, I don't know. I just expect more from myself. I talked about this earlier on Instagram, but I didn't talk about it here. Pretty much, I like. I think that I should be farther along in my skills painting, but uh, I'm not. And it's not really maybe the skill, but in terms of how fast it takes me, or how long actually it takes me to finish a piece. Like that process is frustrating. I just wish I was a little better and could go a little faster finishing my pieces. Yeah. Oils give it that glossy look. Yeah, they really do. It just looks like it's always varnished. But for some reason, I use two different um, mediums. I mean, yeah, this is considered a medium, right? Uh, dry, I use a drying oil and Galkid. Wait, is that right? Galkid is, this speeds up and this slows down. Is that right? I don't know, I always read it before I apply it. Haha, <laughs> don't, don't be like me and just put it on your canvas. This speeds drying 
and this slows. Okay, yeah, I always mix these two together, a gal kid and a linseed oil. Sometimes I'll throw in like the paint thinner or the paint thinner or uh, turpentine and just like a little bit, but I'll find that it's not consistent on the whole painting, the gloss. Like some places it'll be more matte. I'm assuming that's where it, the um, linseed oil hit more of that part of the painting and then the gal kid hit other sections so it's like super glossy. I have not mastered it yet. I am trying, it's very difficult. <laughs> I'm afraid to try oils because of chemicals and whatnot. Uh, I don't think you have to be too worried about that. As long as you're not eating it, you should be good. I will say that it has a little bit of a smell, not too bad, but I always have the windows open, which I probably shouldn't just because of dust. Um, but yeah, it's not, I think when it's drying, probably don't like have a window open while it's drying a little bit to air out some of the fumes. But I mean, I keep all my paintings in my room. But then again, I have I have my windows open 24 seven and then I keep my paintings covered. So I will um, put my canvases, I'll flip them the other direction. You probably saw this on my YouTube and I'll put something over it. So it really like blocks in the smell and you can even tape like whatever you put over it. I use one of those table cloths, those plastic ones. You can tape it. So that way the smell is pretty contained and it keeps out dust too. And yeah, you don't have to like worry about the chemical smell as much. And you won't smell it the next day either. It's pretty much when you're working with it. And if you leave the room and come back in, you'll be like, mm, kind of smells a little off in here, but it's not too bad. But then again, maybe I should do some more research because I'm not 100% sure. Um, so something that I like to do with my stars because I rarely, I mean, even when I did tutorials, I never posted my stars. Uh, something I like to do for a more realistic appeal is to not just have white stars everywhere, but to have stars that are diluted with some other colors. So like blue, green, yellow, just slightly. I also don't like splashing my stars. I haven't mastered that with oil. I don't like it with acrylic either. It's a lot faster and easier to do that, but it's very messy. And you can always tell when somebody splashes their stars because they won't be perfect little circles. And I do not like that when that happens. But you know, sometimes uh, if you can get it right, it looks really, really good because stars are just, you know, scattered. And when I start to paint them on my own, I'll see this pattern that I'm creating unconsciously with the stars. And I'm like, ah, I don't know where these things, like where it needs to be filled with another star. Uh, so splashing definitely um, is easier, but I really like this tool right here, the best for stars. If you have the time, it's best to just dot it on yourself but yeah so right now i'm just adding some blue stars that are more muted and then if some of the stars are too bright i can come back over this later once it dries just the certain stars and i'll add a drying oil to it so that way it won't take forever just to um, dry for the stars that have some color added I'm gonna put on some of that 
music I'm allowed to play just so you guys have something nice to listen to in the background. It sets more of a mood. It's also nice for me as well because I love listening to music or watching a movie while I'm painting or going live. I really like this too. I also like being like put under pressure even though yeah you're not like next to me physically but I still feel like you guys are here because you are um, and it really honestly I think it helps my painting <laughs> okay well why is this flipped my iPad is tripping Okay, I hope that this, oh wait, actually, I think I can go to my YouTube studio on here and play music, I think, I'm not sure. This is not as easy as it looks. Three. Uh, best non-copyrighted music. One hour. Okay, hopefully I don't get in trouble. Hopefully this doesn't get removed because the whole point of me doing this video was to like post it later um, and save it. I think I'm gonna start doing a live painting session uh, once a week and then saving it for my videos just because uh, filming stuff can be a little bit stressful <laughs> and like moving the camera throughout painting and stuff like that, so. Um, how, how do you get the like shine on the larger stars? It looks really good. I actually don't share that secret. A lot of people have asked me that. <laughs> A lot of people have asked me that. That's the one thing I don't share because every space artist does it so differently that I... I don't want anyone doing it because like I posted a video I had an issue with this and I'll tell you exactly why if you want me to explain well this music's really intense guys this is not lo-fi a long time ago when I first started my YouTube channel um, this another artist uh, she was asking me the same thing I posted a video explaining my stars in detail at the time, I was just like, mm, yeah, I don't know, I want to share this, I guess. Uh, and this kind of goes into like the Patreon thing, the Patreon video that I made, just like not sharing stuff that I've been teaching myself for a really long time. But she saw the video and she like told me she saw it. She was like, oh, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. Well, I got tagged in a photo about a week later. Someone saying, oh my gosh, I thought this was... Well, not tagged, they sent it to me. They're like, oh my gosh, this looks just like your artwork. Your star the stars are identical. And I was like, <laughs> uh, I put out a video. So like, of course, they're gonna start using the stars. So I just didn't like it because I feel like that's the one thing that sets my art apart is my stars are, I, I don't know, I do really good starburst. That's one thing I've mastered. I guess I have mastered something. Um, but yes, I just, that's the one thing I want to keep to myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Free uncopyrighted music? Lo-fi? Sorry, I'm trying to find music. Oh gosh, it's getting really windy. Just one second. Um, yeah, this is really hard to find. It says free, but like, I don't know if I can play it. Um, no copyright. B, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I could play this or not. Um, that sucks. Sorry for asking, but yeah. You did master it. No, it's okay. You can totally ask. People ask me all the time. I I get it. 
Share your art, not your secrets. Don't be sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it sucks, but there's just so many other artists out there that are really, really good teachers, like Lockery Fine Art, and she could probably teach you way more than me, and her stuff, like, it, it would make you way better artist than, like, what I could teach you if I was teaching, you know? Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Hopefully it doesn't flag my video. <laughs> I feel like I played this before. I don't know if I can use this. Let's see. Is there anything in the notes? It says... Uh, look, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna be so bummed if this gets removed. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm sorry. I was gonna do music. I can't do it. I can't do it until I like, I should, I should have Googled how to play music in your lives without getting flagged. Is it hard for me to come up with new ideas for videos? Uh, it was for a while and then, I don't know, recently it's just become super easy. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I think that I just, if you're just consistently documenting what you're doing anyways, it's pretty easy. So, um, I also think that incorporating videos that are like art help talking to the camera is great for me. I love doing stuff like that. Uh, and that makes things a lot easier and it's easier to post stuff talking about different topics than you know doing a painting and having to only paint during the daytime because of lighting reasons and um and film it the entire time like I get really stressed out when I paint and then I'm like in it and then I realize oh I have to I have to change the direction of the camera for a different angle and I see a bunch of artists that do this and they have amazing videos and amazing channels but I just, I don't know how they do it. it. Really stresses me out. I wish that I just had multiple cameras set up. Like I've seen some artists do that with their phones. I actually got a stand for it to try to do that. Um, so you like film overhead and then you film at another angle. So you can just cut back and forth. Um, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet. That would be a little less 